Yo, what's going on fellas? Welcome back to another episode. So today we got some high winds forecasted coming down the south later in about a couple hours. So I am at a local spot here in the Brazoria Freeport area. Going to fish a, um, a spot that's going to, I guess, give me a little bit of protection from that winds. The target species is going to be redfish. We got a bunch of lures that we're going to try to make it happen because spring fishing can be kind of tough. And I know it has been tough for me lately, but uh, I am glad I'm out here. It's a beautiful day. Let's see if we can get some fish today. What a beautiful day regardless if the wind's going to pick up and be a little bit high for our tastings and our likings still a gorgeous day to be out and i actually haven't been to this marsh in a while so i don't really know what to expect uh it's a highly pressured area to be honest with you there's always um a kayak, kayak fishermen here or there people know about this spot it's not really a kept secret all right you know right off the bat about a couple hundred yards I see a bunch of seagulls working. I'm not sure if they're just kind of playing around or what, but let's go check it out and see what it is. It's like right over there. It doesn't hurt to try. I mean, it's kind of detouring from uh, where I really wanted to go. But um, yeah, we gotta see what's going on. Investigate, folks, investigate. Well, let's make sure we throw our first cast out there so we don't catch a fish, because it is bad luck. <laughs> I don't know if you guys believe that, but I absolutely believe it. I'm like so superstitious, like, I put my pants on a certain way as well as my shirt and the sequence. I don't know, I guess it's just an Asian thing with uh, luck and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm very superstitious and always gotta cast a few times, make sure we're not catching a fish. I mean, these are the type of birds you wanna look for, the seagulls, not necessarily the terns, but the seagulls. <laughs> That's what you wanna look for when you're uh, chasing birds. All right, we're pretty much here let's see what's going on what are you guys doing man are you guys just being stupid or what i mean they are picking at some bait occasionally here and there it might be trout oh dude i just got thumb okay it is something it looks like it's shrimp that they're chasing something is chasing shrimp and i did get thumped it might be speckled trout my bad guys my gopro froze again but it's actually some small speckled trouts i just caught one yeah they're uh kind of running all around the place they're small guys though but still still get your uh get your fix on early in the morning <laughs> fun to catch uh i wouldn't say a big school but a small school of speckled trout there we go i just got thumped yeah they're here small really small guys chasing really small shrimp yeah I'm getting thumped again yeah they're really small guys there we go see I got them thump yep okay. small guy small guy really small guy there we go another speck got off actually you know what I thought I was going to throw a wake bake but since it's such a narrow creek uh, might be best just to throw a a small little micro lure first till we get out of this narrow little creek here so i think that's what i'm going to do throw a uh, shrimp imitation to hothead while i navigate my way time is ticking away brother Nothing to show for it, brother. There we go. That's a fish. There we go. That's a red. <laughs> oh, wow. I was kind of thinking that there was no redfish here. He's going to be... I'm not sure. He might be a keeper. He might be a keeper. Caught him right here. He's just laying down right there. You see that, guys? In the mud there. Well, let's see if we can get him to come around. 
which he doesn't want to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There he is. This young dude giving me a lot of problems. <laughs> Still fun to catch. He might be right at the limit there. Uh, maybe not. He just has a lot of zest in him. There. So there are redfish here. Nice red. On the hothead there. Just kind of blind casting him as I sh showed you. Sitting right at the corner. Let's just kind of power pull ourselves down here. Now this is a nice redfish, guys. He might be like at 18 and 3 quarters, close to 19 inches. A beautiful fish on the hothead. He smoked it. Just chilling in the mud, man. That's what they're doing. So, I mean, that's that's the that's what I kind of thought, honestly. That's what I kind of thought I had to do is um, just kind of work my shoreline because um, it's soft bottom and this guy, example, he was there. So, I mean, that's the strategy for today. Just kind of blind cast the whole shoreline where uh, their mud is very soft. Beautiful dude. Let's just see how big he is out of curiosity. Yeah, would you look at that guy. He's right at 18 and a half inch. 18 and a quarter, we'll say. Love redfish, no matter, oh man, it just barely came out. No matter the size, no matter what, they are freaking the Texas saltwater fish. Inshore game fish to catch, man. And let's let this guy go here. We know what we're looking There we go, that's a fish, that's a fish. That's a red, nice red. He's gonna be, oh, nice flounder. Oh my God, that's a keeper flounder. That's what I'm talking, don't get off. Don't get off, bro. <laughs> oh my God, Nick, oh yes. Dude, nice freaking flounder, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> He's a thick dude. Very thick. All right, come on, give me my lure back. Oh, check out that. Oh my gosh. It's one of the bigger flounders I've caught in a while. He's probably, meh, maybe 17 and a half. Let's see real fast. That's a beautiful flounder right there, guys. Okay, I thought he was 17, but he's 16 and a half inch. Still, I will take this dude any day. We are going to keep this fella here. You guys know I love the flounder, and he has a lot of parasites on him. But it's okay, he kills parasites. It's gonna make a nice addition to my catching crew. God, he is thick, man. Boy, you've been eating really good. All right, guys, check out this freaking monster, man. Really, really thick shoulders. We're gonna take him home, like I said earlier. I love catching flounder. Any day of the week, I'll catch these guys over redfish, trout, uh, just because they're such a badass fish to catch. And, they, they present a challenge, man. You just gotta kinda know how to fish them and where to look. And once you get that down, these things are incredible. And plus they taste so good. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, I just gotta learn on my phone that a storm is coming through here in the Brazoria Freeport area in about an hour. So I'm gonna call it quits because I got a long pedal back. But uh, man, it was a slow day, say the least. I think it has to do a lot with the high winds and uh, there's too much bait as usual. Springtime, what can I say? But I did catch uh, one keeper flounder, so we're going to take that home and do a catch and cook. So you guys stay tuned. I'll see you guys at home. As I promised you guys, we're going to do a catch and cook, but we're not going to do the cook part on my channel yet. Just go to my wife's channel. She's going to have the fish that I caught. Okay, well, yeah, I kind of lied, all right? So forgive me, guys, but she doesn't want to do the redfish. She actually wants to do a flounder that I caught a few episodes back. So that's what we're going to do. But before you click off this video and go to her link, which is in the description box and in the comment section, let me show you an awesome preview of what's about to happen, what you're going to see on her channel because she's going to cook this fish to perfection and you guys are really really going to enjoy especially if you love flounder
Man, look at that flounder, guys. Tell me that dude doesn't look delicious. Dude, that's freaking awesome. All right, guys, there you have it, man. Make sure you hook up my wife's channel. The description or the link is in the description box and in the comment section. Watch how she freaking cooked this flounder to perfection. It was so simple. Even a caveman do it. I can do it. I, I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to devour it. Make sure you check out her channel. And it'll, I'll, if you want to know how it tastes and what I think about it, it's all going to be there. We're going to eat it together right now and then it's going to be on her channel once again. But anyways, thank you so much guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.